Hey guys, it's Vika. So, I am doing my first ever story time kind of video. And this is a serious story time. A couple of my friends know my childhood story and my best friend knows my twin, my sister. Mwah. Love you if you're watching. <laughs> but anyway, this story time is about my abuse I am a victim of abuse since I was a child by my stepfather <sighs> I never met my biological father he passed away way before I was born that's what my biological mother always tells me I don't know he probably is dead I have no clue but I'm not gonna worry about that anyway so when I was born the only father that was in my life and I knew 100% was my stepfather. And then a few years later, back in Ukraine, he had a son. So I have a half-brother that I knew all along. I knew him since birth. We were blood-related. Well, half, because he's my half-brother. So we're like half blood-related because... We both came from my mother by different fathers but anyway he never laid his hand on my half brother ever he abused my mother sometimes even though she was like alcoholic and drug addict back then but now she's changed and we do write letters to each other to each other by mail <laughs> But my stepfather, he always laid his hands on me. He always abused me, whether by belt, by his hands, or whatever he can find, he would abuse me all the time. All the time. I'm not going to cry. I'm a strong woman now. I'm just going to get this off my chest because I want to be open with you guys. You guys know me and what I like, but you guys personally, like, don't know me as a person deep down inside of me you guys don't know that but let's just continue but yeah he would just abuse me non-stop I would be on the playground all day long by myself just to get away from the house because no child in this world deserves to be abused not even adults or teenagers no human being deserves to be abused but yeah, he also would made me stay in the corner all night long. If I fall asleep, he would come and beat me. If I lay in my bed and fall asleep, he would come beat me. He would just tell me to stand in the corner all night long for no reason. Because I guess that makes him happy. But like, what the hell, you know, like you're mistreating a really young kid this is not acceptable and I don't know when the abuse has started but I know when it ended it when I was eight years old um, I believe police or someone found me on the streets all bruised up like my whole body was completely completely I'm not even like completely covered in bruises and they just took me away and they put me in the orphanage and my mom couldn't do anything about it. Um, I don't know why she never fought for me or anything like that. But yes, I was in the orphanage till I was 11 years old. Um, and in the orphanage, there was this guy that's always come hang out with me and another girl named Katrina. He would bring us sodas and chips. I had no clue who the guy was. He could be my dad. My biological dad, I don't know, but I would still hang out with him. You know, and I don't know who the girl Katrina was. She could have been my sister, my biological sister. She could just been a friend. I don't know anything about my family. Nothing. And then when I got adopted by an American family, which I love so much to live in Georgia, a lot of my friends know everything about me. Um, but yeah, when I was adopted, he stopped you know visiting so yeah and then 
Like a year and a half or so after I got adopted, my mom sent me a letter saying that my stepfather passed away, um, public starting school, which my is my half-brother, and my mom needs money. Okay, I get it. And then a few years after that, my loving mother from America took me to go visit my country, visit my mother, visit my half-brother. It really didn't turn out as I expected. So we were at the restaurant and just, you know, getting to know each other all over again because, you know, I was adopted. And just, yeah. But she didn't say a word at all. At all. Public was like so happy to see me. He was maybe like six, seven, eight years old. I don't remember like exactly. My mom, my American mom gave her some money so we could go and spend time, quality time together because we haven't seen each other in years. And guess what she did? She spent that money on alcohol because she was an alcoholic back then. And she would just spend that money on alcohol and she would just abandon me. I would be just sitting there at the restaurant waiting for my mom, American mom, to come back. I'm like, what the hell, mom? You're just going to abandon your daughter again? You know? But it's, it's what it, it is what it is. And a lot of people go through this or something similar. And I don't understand what the, why this thing's happening. But yeah, since then I have not went down there and visited her whatsoever. Um, there was also like a, a war going between Russia and Ukraine. And, you know just it's crazy it's crazy down there it's super crazy um and we would mess not message each other we would like send letters to each other in the video scope with each other and i asked you know like why didn't you fight for me why did you let them take me away from you and then she explained to me that she couldn't take care of me and she wanted a better life for me i guess she wanted me to you know just be away from the abuse and the freaking drunk stepfather I guess that and I do miss her very much I am grateful to be here you know in America for 10 years I have a I don't want to cry but I'm gonna break down one way or another because it's sad I'm just so blessed and grateful to have everything I have right now. I have an amazing, beautiful, loving family in Georgia. I have a loving husband, even though we get into arguments when, once in a while. I have amazing friends I have met over the years. I'm just blessed, but I'm also sad at the same time because I can't see my mother and I can't see my half-brother because money-wise, I just... I can't and they always ask for my pictures they oh my half brother would always ask about me where's Vika how is she I want to see her all that it just <sighs> take it easy it just makes me so sad and heartbroken because I was taken away to have a better life away from my half brother I love him so much and I will do until the day I die. I still send them letters and pictures of me. I print out like a hundred million and million of pictures of me and my husband. And I would ship it to them because they want to see it. They want to see me. They want me. They want to see me being a grown up because I am a grown ass woman and they just want to see me because last time they saw me, I was like 13. 12, 13 years old, somewhere there. But yeah, abuse is not acceptable. I don't like it. I'm against abuse whatsoever. I don't wish this on anyone, not even on my worst enemy. I have a big heart for everything. And I do not wish for anyone to be abused, not even kids teens, adults, whoever. 
I hope this story helps somebody to open up about their past and feel good inside because when you do open up, open your heart and express yourself as who you are, what you've been through, it helps you so much in the long run. It, it helps you to forget the darkness that you've been through and the darkness that you've kept inside for a long time. Like my abuse story, I've kept it for 22 years. I'm 22 now and I've kept it inside of me for 22 years. I have never opened up publicly like ever and it's really a good feeling to open up and let happiness and positivity positivity in instead of keeping that darkness inside of you and i hope this story will help anybody if it helps one person to open up and feel good about themselves and not blame yourself for the abuse i will be the happiest person in the world I don't blame myself for the abuse because it wasn't my fault. I was just a kid. And if you're being abused, it's not your fault. Get some help, please. I don't want anyone to get abused whatsoever. So I guess that is my story to tell. I don't know. But that's pretty much it to this story, you know. It is what it is, you know, half of me is glad that I went through that and then half of me is glad I wish I hadn't, if that makes sense, because, you know, if I wasn't going through abuse, I wouldn't be a stronger woman as I am to this day and have thicker skin and never let anyone abuse me, you know, but I'm also glad that I went through that experience because I am now to this day a stronger woman. I'm a kick-ass warrior, abuse survivor, and I have thicker skin. I'm not going to let nobody ruin my life. Nobody, you know. I hope that makes sense. You know, like half of me wish I didn't go through it and half of me did. So, hope you guys understand. But yeah, guys, if you feel like talking to me, you can always private message me on my social media. I will always reply to you guys i love you so much and i just wanted you guys to deeply like deeply deeply get to know me as a person not as vika as a youtuber like vika this is vika she does beauty videos and all that i just want you guys to deeply get to know me as a person who i am inside what i stand for and that's pretty much it i love you guys so much you guys know what you guys have no idea how much you mean to me and your support is just incredible and I'm so blessed and thankful to have everyone on my channel and everyone around me. It's a blessing. Really, truly a blessing. So hope you guys enjoy my story time. I will be posting more story times later in the future as I get more comfortable sharing personal details about my life like this story. So that's uh, pretty much it. Feel free to subscribe down below to never miss a video like this again. And also add me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I always leave all of my social medias down below in the description box. Also, go ahead and request to join the hottest group on Facebook. We have girly things. It will also be in the description box. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.